Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI video and in this video I will show you why all of the year or day values of on x-axis chart is not displayed. So what I want to show you is basically this scenario where you have the bar chart and down there what I'm showing is the day information as you can see the x-axis is day and it is taken from the date values. So whenever we have scenarios like this where uh, all the values, let's say in this case day or if you have so many values of year and it is not displaying the year value or any other scenario where not all of the values are coming, especially when they are numeric in nature, then what do you need to do? So that's what I want to show you in this video why all of the uh, x-axis year or day values are not displayed. So before I move ahead and show you this, how you can configure your chart so that all of the values are being displayed, just a quick information that this sheet, this is spreadsheet or the Google spreadsheet, I am maintaining it in the, uh, or I'm putting it in the description so that you can access all of my previous videos by quickly searching and jump to a particular video using the link which is given here. So let's go ahead and see now how you can configure. So whenever you have a scenario like this where you are not getting all of your values down there, what you need to do is configure, you need to configure the x-axis, right? So you need to go over here in the format, x-axis already enabled, then open up the x-axis. And here the type is the main, I would say culprit in this case, which is not giving you the all of the values. So what you need to do is change it from continuous to categorical. And as soon as you change this to categorical, you will see that now your chart is properly displayed and all the values from one to 31 is being displayed. So that's the main idea I wanted to give you whenever you are running into this scenario which is sometimes frustrating because you may be wondering well i am doing everything right i am using all my default well uh, settings which is given in the power bi so ideally power bi should show this right but the way they are enhancing the power bi team is enhancing they are giving more and more features and with more features obviously more complexity comes but we need to know uh, what do we need to do in scenarios like this or configure your charts properly so that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.